In the previous two episodes of Alarming Variations, we explained how climate change and its impact of erratic rainfall patterns is creating havoc in the northeastern state of Assam. In this episode of Alarming Variations, we go further east to cover another disaster. Approximately 800 crore rupees are required immediately for repairs of the damage. In 2018, Nagaland saw one of the most deadliest floods in decades. It killed at least 12 people and displaced more than 3,000 families across 400 villages. Subsequently, it has also been reported that Nagaland is experiencing below normal rainfall for the past few decades. Then how did floods become mayhem for the villages of Nagaland? And why did the villagers not see this coming? Down to earth travelled to the Wokha district of Nagaland, one of the worst hit districts during the floods of 2018, to understand how this occurred. Wokha district alone saw three rainfall events, ranging between the category of heavy to very heavy rainfall, all within the month of July 2018. First, on July 7th, it measured 65.1 mm rainfall. Then, on July 8th, it measured 95 mm rainfall. And finally, on July 31st, it measured 84.4 mm rainfall. Villages like Lippi, Runchan, Renthan and Koro were among the few which were heavily flooded, destroying human settlements as well as washing away agricultural fields and threatening biodiversity. But this was just a trailer. The India Meteorological Department informed that the state of Nagaland as a whole recorded a whopping total of 21 rainfall events of a similar category within a span of three months. Now you must be thinking that isn't this much rainfall more than enough for a small state like Nagaland to sustain till the next monsoon season? Actually, no. Because the monsoon does not work this way. Ideally, this rainfall should have been evenly distributed over the state. But instead, it is raining heavily for a very short period of the overall monsoon season over smaller areas, while rest of the season, the state records dry spells. This change in rainfall patterns over Nagaland is symptomatic of global warming and consequent climate change. Such alarming variations are making the erstwhile normal monsoons an obsolete phenomena. So, if there is less or no rain, then how come floods stuck their villages and destroyed everything? For that, let us first understand the topography of Nagaland. Nagaland is blessed with four major rivers and dozens of minor rivers and tributaries. However, these rivers are not deep enough to hold floodwaters beyond their maximum capacity. After the rainwater drains downstream, the rivers overflow, causing massive floods in the adjoining villages and forests. This is despite the fact that Nagaland comprises of rolling hills in contrast to Arunachal Pradesh's steep mountains. Such flooding causes long-lasting damage to the human and wildlife habitation as well. Yaksha 
Jo, he did like he or Rashina, he did like to Jacha, no more, a TP, Jahan Tistaga, Elaniki, or Tungjaha, he did like Yeswistaga. Jo, to Mother Tung, Adulaha, Ui, Dili, Mojumono, Elam Teda, Dili Kiki, Elam Randona Tola to Adulaha, She Sa, Iki Hang, Ui Elaniki, or Uvo Hang, or Tung Hang, or he did like Ura. Or I think he did like he more than one of the other two. He did like he chala. She is a he did like he yes, yes, I have an idea. Joe Machudum Adula Ui or Rajana, he did like he yes, we stuck up. Boraji Shanki is a hidden or Mojna Mojo Elam Tedala to Adulaha Mojna dia, she rashi to inch. Toma he did like he. Yes, we stuck up. Floods have also affected the biodiversity of Nagaland. No, I put on Sana on water in Joranjo Alam Fuji Show. I let no one watch him for this saga. That's what you want, and no more to Ochana Vani. You take a lot of time, damn Ochana Vani to the Vandaga. Butterflies are one of the most sensitive species and their absence from natural habitat signals a changing climate. Even tiny variations in temperatures and rainfall affect the population and the diversity of butterflies, making them a climate indicator species. Between 1989 and 2018, the state showed a significant decreasing trend in monsoon rainfall. It received less than normal rainfall for several years. Woka district, which receives the second highest monsoon rainfall among the districts, also shows a decreasing trend for the 30-year period. The change in the rainfall patterns and the decrease of overall monsoon rainfall has resulted in the desertification of Nagaland. The state has reported one of the highest rates of desertification between 2003 and 2018. Struggling with desertification, erratic rainfall and the loss of precious ecology, the land of festivals, Nagaland, is looking at a bleak future. Including Nagaland, six states in the northeastern region were among the top 10 places in India with the highest rates of desertification. <laughs>